we're going to start by jumping straight into spend management. OK, spend management it is. So this is where all of our like purchase orders, invoices, all that stuff is going to be handled. So right now you have an invoice in front of you you're trying to process. Is that right? I have, I, yeah, I have a couple. So any one we can do now or. Great, yeah, we'll go through one of them. So what I we're going to do them for the same vendors, maybe we can not go three out of all. Yeah, that'd be perfect. So okay. the left, the left margin is sort of like our main menu. Mm -hmm. um, if you click on the three lines up in the top left corner, it'll give you like the contents of that menu. Storefront orders, invoices, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, exactly. So storefront is where you would like go to order something new or create a new order. We're not worried about that right now because we're just trying to get an invoice process. So we're going to go to invoices. Got it. And then we're going to do create offline invoice, the third one. An oh. offline invoice just means it wasn't ordered through the internet. It wasn't like an order through staples.com. Got it. Through the catalog that we have here in the system. So now on the right side, we've got our invoice ready to, or yeah, our blank invoice ready to go. We're just going to fill in all the information. Okay. So first option, select vendor. We'll have to put in the vendor there. Who Who is this invoice for? This is a brand new vendor. Actually, theoretically, it's in the system because they've been assigned a number. It's called Affinico. Should I type their name in? Yep. You can just okay. type in like the first few characters usually. Yeah, and that's not popping up. Um, no, so if you like, so what you'll want to do is hit either the search on the right or click um, anywhere else. Yeah, because then it pops up with our list. Um, it's not coming up. I happen to know that Affinico is doing business under a different name. Do you remember what their other name is or no? Doing business as Premier Maintenance. Yeah. Just try try searching for Premier. If you hit enter, it'll like give you all of our premier options. There we go. <clears throat> so there's the one. we'll hit yep that little button on the side there. They have okay. been selected. Then we'll just continue down the process. So the next piece, we really like need to fill out the stars, like the red <laughs> stars. So uh, invoice number. Okay. Uh, have you entered the invoice number? I'm doing it right now. It's 161. 957, 957. Okay. Invoice date. You want that too, right? Yep. 930. Oh, okay. Okay. Due date right. is not a requirement. That's good. So the URL, the image URL is a requirement. That means that we need to scan this invoice and put it into the system. Have you okay. scanned this invoice yet? I have to. Yeah, I have to find it. I just assume do it again. Take me a second. OK. Take me longer to find it than to do it. <laughs> no problem. So for anybody who's listening to this recording after the fact, Tom is just taking his physical invoice over to his scanner, and he's in the process of scanning it into his computer so that we can upload it to the system. We're going to our desktop, and he's going to find the scan that he just made. Open. Match that. Okay, it's there. Yep, so that's all set. You know that it's, it's good to go because the little document to the right of the upload button. Mm -hmm. uh, that shows us and if you wanted to check it to make sure you you picked the right upload you could click that and it would show you what you uploaded um, i'm going to trust myself on this one okay we all trust tom so moving on down the line you can scroll down we don't need any of that stuff there um the these line items right here this is uh kind of like the meat and potatoes of what we're doing so skew number not a big deal but um your line items like what it is, how much it costs, how many of them you got. So in the description field, you can put what you're paying for. So I'm in I'm in number three, right? Enter line items. 
Yep. Right. And then so you have the skew and then the 1.00 to the right of the 1.00 is your description field. Right. That's where you're going to put in what it is you're paying for. It says. Property and then to the to the left of the property, there's that blank field. Under oh, description. It's blank. I couldn't see it. Yeah, OK. And, we'll, and it's a cleaning expense. What do I just um, janitorial services? Yeah, something like that. Maybe me if it's a contract, maybe mention that it's a contract or. <clears throat> there. Contract should do it. OK. So that's in. And then to the right, you're going to want to put the price. Yep, right there. You can, OK, and then, and then all in with tax. Um, you can you'll process tax separately down at the bottom, so you so can put. Just put the, uh, the cost before taxes. Yep. Seven, zero. OK. All right, and then to the right of that, we're choosing our GL code. Um, so if you don't know the GL code number off the top of your head, you can just type in like any like single character in here and then pull up the search. So looks like, like it looks like eight, three, three, four, zero to me. OK, Okay. and now when you click off of this, it'll like bring up a population list where you choose. Um, so A3340 is not a valid GL code. Um, really? But what we can do up at the top where it says code, we can search for. Like. Cleaning or janitorial, if you're familiar with the GL code descriptions. Cleaning contract. Does that sound about right? Oh, you wanted that number. I had that one too. Okay. I gave, I was using the vendor number as opposed to the description. Okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> so okay. there's our GL code number, and this is not a unit specific janitorial service, right? Like this wasn't cleaning a specific unit. This the, no, this is the building. Yeah. So we can skip unit number. We'll move on down. Uh, I assume that there's going to be no shipping because this is a janitorial service, but right. you did mention that there's tax, so you can either enter the tax percentage there in the center field, or you can do the tax amount to the right of that. Um, let's do the tax amount because I think it's 6.35, but I don't want to guess. Yeah, it, you don't want if, if you have the raw number in front of you, no, worry, no need to worry about guessing at the percentage. Okay. Yeah. Grand total should bring it over. Um, you're gonna have to manually enter the grand total. Really? I believe it might calculate, but yeah. It, didn't, it did not. All right, seven four six four. Point eight. All right. Okay. Then down at the bottom, buyer notes would be like if you have any specific comments that you want the accounting department to be aware of on this invoice. Um. I'll just write October cleaning just for the hell of it. Yeah, that's that's a common. That's exactly what we would like to see in something like that. Some people just copy the description line, uh, but October cleaning is a great way okay. to to mark this. And then we'll hit save, and it'll it'll do a check to make sure that everything is entered correctly, and uh, we'll be good. So go ahead and hit save. Okay, there's um, a difference of three dollars grand total. Know what I did wrong. Four seven. Yep, I see what I did wrong. It's gonna, I can go back and make a change, correct? Um, so yes, it says hit cancel if you want to change the grand total amount. Yep. Being a little dyslexic, I made one little error here. Six four. Okay, save. Much more better. Bingo. So this is looking at our like, so the first one, it says checking the budget. It mm -hmm. does not exceed our budget, so there's no approval needed. Um, but spend limit, it exceeds your user's spend limit being a $7,500 invoice. So that just tells us that now that you've submitted this, it's going to get pushed up to your approver and your approver will approve it and it'll get through the system. Okay. Um, but this is done for you. So you hit OK. It's now out and it's in somebody else's hands and you don't have to worry about it anymore. All right, and I'm going to do two more. 
Right. So if you hit create invoice here, it'll take you right back to that page and you'll be starting another one. Uh, or if you hit back to list, it'll just take you to like your list of current invoices. Got it. All right, I'll give it a shot. 